Uh, Ross, when we first reflect on Tuesday night, it was a great way to, to bounce back from Saturday, wasn't it? Yeah, massive. I think that's one thing we, we spoke about on Monday is we want to have a reaction to that. We knew it was out of character and it was, I think, you get three of those errors kind of over a season. But I think we kind of just got them all in, in one game, so I kind of, it kind of punished us a little bit more than, than usual. So, But no, we want to bounce back and I think we did that expertly. Take away the goals, I suppose bouncing back was to get another clean sheet, wasn't it? Because it's something we've been so good at this season, but just like you say, lapsed on, on Saturday last week. Yeah, definitely. I think, like I said, over this, over this season, we've been brilliant at keeping clean sheets, and we've always kind of, Gaffer's always said, like, if we can keep clean sheets, we know the lads at the front will, will score goals. So I think to get back to keeping clean sheets on Tuesday, and then obviously the lads did the business at the top end of the pitch. Uh, nine clean sheets from 14, you must be proud as a defender, but equally as a wing back playing this season to get six at the other end and be part of the the process to create the goals as well. You must be proud of both sides of it. Yeah, massively. I think um, obviously you're part of both units, so it's kind of, you almost think you double plaudits, but no, I think the, the clean sheets is a whole team effort. It starts from the top. Everyone's involved in winning first and second balls. If the lads up front don't win the first balls and it's coming back all the time, it puts under more pressure. So it's a massive team effort. The way the lads press from the front as well, it's absolutely huge. So and, and also like like I said, Fitzy though, he's he's pulled us out there out of trouble quite a few times, made really big saves at key moments. Uh so but no, it's been it's been really, really good. And we were talking this morning about the record, we want to try and get the record of if we can this year. What was noticeable on Tuesday if if the lads misplaced a pass or made a mistake or lost the ball, there was like that bite to get it back from that individual. Is that something that's been drilled into the lads? Yeah, I think Monday we had a really, really good chat. Uh, as a group of players and staff and said look we need to kind of go back to where we were and we had a really good session on Monday uh, every single player was at it with a kind of point to prove and I think that showed on on Tuesday the gaffer made a couple of changes and it was kind of everyone was in the mindset of right I want to make sure I keep my shirt for the next game. Before the last three games I suppose the, the criticism from the gaffer was not being ruthless with the chances we create but I suppose 11 goals in three games puts that a little bit to bed doesn't it? Yeah, it, it was coming. It was coming. We were creating the chances. And I think it was just a matter of time till we did did beat someone by that scoreline. But I think we need to be realistic and think that it's not going like that every week. We need to kind of work hard to create those chances and, and stop stop chances as well. So we've kind of got to be a team effort to do that every, every week. I suppose when you look at the chances created on Tuesday, it could have been more as well, couldn't it? Yeah, it could have been. I think that's the main thing is that the chances are there. So we are creating chances. I think we'd be more worried if the chances weren't coming uh, and we know that listen, the strikers will score goals, Danny's got a couple now and now he's finding his finding his feet, Cal's been on absolute fire so we're getting goals from everywhere, even the centre-halves are, are jumping in. Radcliffe this weekend, uh, I know they're probably not where they expected to be or want to be in the table but I, I think they've won the last two games away from home, they beat Brackley as well so it'll be a, another tough game. Yeah, really, really tough game, I know they're managing well. Uh, they'll. They'll be really up for it. They'll be hard to beat. They'll be strong, aggressive on the front foot. Uh, but I think they also have the mindset of they'll concede goals, but we'll try and outscore you. So we need to be kind of switched on at the back because they've got a lot of good players in that kind of front line. So who have all played at national league level as well. So it'll be it'll be a really good game. Do you hope they kind of bring that mentality to the game on Saturday? Because when teams play at us, we seem to be better at, at kind of combating them. Yeah, I think I think obviously it can be hard to play against a low block with so many bodies behind the ball and not much space so I do hope they come and have a go because I think it'll be a really really good game because they've got a good good front line and I think it'll leave a lot of spaces for us as well so I think it'll be I think overall it's going to be a really good game of football. Let's talk about you then you're the only player to to start all 17 games in all competitions you must be enjoying this season loads more than last season I guess. Yeah massively it's been a complete kind of use and from last year uh, not really doing anything different though, just kind of being myself and, and just keep working hard in training day in, day out and I think this year kind of the gaffer believes in me, he's put a lot of faith in me and kind of just want to keep keep doing that and putting good performances out there for him. How do you think you're getting on personally? Yeah, I think I started really, really well. Uh, past couple of games I feel like my form might have dropped a little bit where I just need to shop up in a few little bits but still working hard in training to try and put them wrongs right and going through clips and things like that just to there's little percentages where I can keep improving. Other players obviously had a bit of a breather in the FA Cup and obviously you started all of them games. How are you finding not having that break? Yeah, it is tough, but I'd be moaning if I weren't playing. So I just love being out there and love playing football. So 
as long as I can, the more games I can play, the, the better it is. I just want to keep helping the team and helping the club. And as long as I'm recovering right and doing the right things off the pitch, then, then it'll help. I suppose with Saturday, Tuesdays for three weeks in a row, that'll take its toll on you. I hope <laughs> recovery wise, yeah. I guess, needs to be in there. Yeah, recovery is massive. Uh, Ash and Kieran and, and Rosie are absolutely brilliant with, with the recovery stuff, so we've got to keep making sure that we're on top of that as a, as a group as well as a collective. The lads work so hard, like we look at the GPS stats from the games, and lads are covering massive distances, even like especially the forwards and midfielders, so it's a whole team effort so everyone's making sure they're doing things right to, to stay in the team. I know the gaffers mentioned stats and things like that over the course of the season, thresholds and things, how much do you like focus on your own stats when you get them? Uh, a lot, so I look a lot of kind of performance stats as well in terms of like my passes, I'll look back at my clips and see what pass, say I give the ball away, what other pass could I have made there or crossed it, I've crossed to the wrong area, uh, things like that and physical stats, yeah the lads are always looking at the iPad at training uh, to see what distance we're doing and making sure everyone's kind of working hard. I suppose it's something in the modern football era that's quite important now. It wasn't so much a long time ago. How much are you? How much do you like link that to your games, the stats? Or do you try and aim for certain distances? Or, or how, do you, how do you kind of process the information you get? I think kind of, obviously in, in training it's a little bit different because the staff will have a, a target of distance that they want us to cover. Uh, especially like on a Tuesday if we have no game, it'll be quite a high distance, high speed running day uh, where I do a lot of sprint work. Um, but kind of in games, obviously, we're aiming for obviously over about, about 10k, if we can, close to 10k as possible. Um, I think Cal was close to 11 on Tuesday night, um, so that's kind of what we're, we're looking for. And it's different, obviously, for different what position you play um, as well, but I think the staff have it all down and they're the ones you want to talk to about that bit. <laughs> Just to give a bit of insight, if your like levels distance wise are down from everybody else, is there a penalty for that or it, uh, no? So what will happen is, so say for example, the subs who came on the other day, their distance obviously won't be as high as the lads who started. So they've stayed out a little bit extra, do a little bit extra training, so they're not missing out on the distance and keeping the fitness up essentially. And also, obviously, if you're not if you don't really get many minutes on a Tuesday, it's a normally training day, so you're kind of missing missing that. So. It gives the lads, keeps them involved, keeps them sharp, keeps them at it, whereas so they're not doing the same session as us. It's kind of making sure everyone's together still and they're still getting the same amount as, as we are. In terms of the league table, back top after a couple of days off top spot, how, how driven are the lads to make sure that that was just the only time we, we fall off top spot this season? Yeah, I think it's one of them where, yes, we look at it at times, but also we just want to make sure we win every single game. Just every single game, going that mindset of, if we can do our job, then the league will look after itself. So we've just got to keep focusing on performances on the pitch. And if we get that right, then the league table shouldn't lie and it'll look after itself. I suppose lads are looking at this block of fixtures thick and fast and think now is the time to really get some points on the board. Yeah, it's a good chance to really put a good run together. Uh, we wanted to obviously start well on Saturday, but we haven't. But we've started start again on obviously Tuesday night and it was a good start. So we now got to kick on and these next run of games and can we put a real good run together like we did at the start. And a lot of them games are home games as well, so it's a real opportunity to, to really put some points on the board in front of our own supporters. Yeah, massively. I think when, especially at home, we're, we're massive. Like we're, we're really, really good at home and we can play good football, we can dominate possession. And I think a lot of teams fear coming here as well, so we need to kind of use that to our advantage and really put them to the sword. Just finally away from football in November tomorrow. I know the lads are doing uh, November, so expecting to see you a bit clean shaven tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so we've had a bit of a discussion, the lads have put a few ideas together and we wanted to obviously do Movember, I think it's for a very, very good cause, um, so all the lads will be, quite a few of the lads will be clean shaven, a few different doing it differently, a few moustaches and things like that, some are going completely clean and we'll see what happens in a month's time. So we're expecting everyone to look about 12 years old tomorrow morning I guess? Uh, yeah, so I'll have literally no hair now, <laughs> I'll be no hair on my chin, hardly any hair on my head so... So yeah, it should be good fun. Have you looked at any of the lads that have tried to get a head start on this one? Cause, uh... Uh, yeah, I think Max Brogan was saying that he started when he was born and he's still struggling <laughs> now, so we'll see where he's at at the end of the month. I did see Finn starting a bit of a moustache a week ago. I think can't have a head start in that one, surely. Yeah, I think Finn's, Finn's one of them who's struggling as well. I think he's still growing. He's from last November. <laughs>